When last we left our fearless explorers, they'd returned from Dor Doria GB7, Ricardo Pill had rejoined the party, and they were about to receive... I think you mean Ricardo Pill had joined the party for the first time. Uh, joined the party for the first time, yes. Someone they had never met before. That's right. It was time to be briefed on their next uh, mission that they were going to be sent on. Mm. <clears throat> so... I, I, well, I was going to say, I actually have the text here, but... Oh, okay. Go ahead. So, the captain called them in and essentially informed them that they had gotten a message from an alien planet with coordinates, uh, and so they, and they were going to be sent there. <coughs> and this this was uh, the message. To the species known as persons, homo sapiens, humans, and homo erectus, we, the Ahiri, are pleased to offer an invitation to you to attend the 143,662nd Asania Intergalactic Art Competition and Gala. <laughs> this most prestigious and magnificent event will be held in 17 of your Earth Day's time on our home world, the wondrous Ahiri. We know you will receive this invitation with gratitude and exuberance, and yet your joy will only increase because the suzerain have extended an invitation to you to submit one piece of art that your species has produced for the crawling species category. I'm sure you recognize the deep honor of being invited to take part in this prestigious intergalactic competition. On a personal note, I add that the Ahiri were very impressed with the transmission we received recently. <laughs> your desire as a species to reach out to other races, learn what wisdom your tiny minds can absorb, and reach what, for you, is an unreachable star, was a sentiment that made the Ahiri recollect those days long past when we were just simple intergalactic explorers. It is with curiosity and pleasure that we invite you to join our celebration and exploration of art. <laughs> a map with the coordinates to Ahiri is included with this transmission. Like we will meet you soon. Menyai. That's amazing. Menyai. <laughs> Menyai. You yep. guys got a message from the Intergalactic Publishers <laughs> Clearing <laughs> Well, Quint Daniels was immediately like, oh, we have to bring the Mona Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> How can we get a hold of the Mona Lisa? We need yeah. to get the Mona Lisa. Yeah, and actually, the, and the captain said, no, we already asked, and they didn't want, they didn't feel comfortable putting the Mona Lisa in one of our ships. <laughs> yeah. And then he's like, huh? All right, we've got to steal the Mona Lisa. Yeah. And Pill was like, I don't understand what is so special about the Mona Lisa. It's just a picture of some men. But yeah. So we had a lengthy discussion about what art should represent Earth. And I think ultimately we decided just to bring an archive of everything along and hopefully we'll figure out what fits best with with the theme. I offered to, because um, we talked about performance, and I offered to do uh, uh, chanting, mm. and they asked me what, what, uh, what I was going to chant, so I started, uh, I'll just close to the thing, I started doing Sha Cha Keiko, Sha Cha Keiko. But no one was impressed with my chanting. Yeah. However, out of character, we all suddenly figured out what has been up with Hawking all this time. Um, well, anyway, or at least we think we figured it out. Yes. I also, as we were leaving on the mission, because there wasn't really much else we did except for a debate about whether we were going to steal the Mona Lisa. We decided not to steal the Mona Lisa, just to and, uh, summarize that debate. I, I, you know, on the beginning of the mission, I slapped everyone on the back and said, Kapla! Make sure that, yeah. you know... Had good luck on this mission. Mm -hmm. So yeah, um, we sort of cast our minds back and we're like, oh yeah, okay. So yeah, the current theory that we have is that Hawking has been, as he's filling in for different roles, has been emulating Star Trek characters <laughs> uh, that fill those roles. Right. So presumably, security, when, when yes. he was when he was science, he was Lieutenant Data. Now he's Worf. We'll have to think back at some of the other ones. But, yeah. Anyway, that's our working theory. So anyway, uh, yeah, I think that was pretty... Oh yeah, we did the actual ship trip. We, we hopped on board a, a, a nice... It wasn't a brand new ship. They, they repaired the old ship because Flint Daniels had suffered an injury when we crashed on GB7. He got a seatbelt stuck to his hand. And so we never fixed that. So when we got back, he still had the seatbelt stuck to his hand. So they like took the seatbelt and assembled a replacement ship around it. <laughs> so it's still the same ship. It's still ship. the same ship. Because they just had to replace some of the parts. Right. <laughs> yeah. 
I just wanted to make that clear because um, that um, came up. Amp Ampele was very upset that we had lost a ship that she had spent so much time keeping fixed up and stuff. So right. I was like, yeah. no, 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 you haven't lost a ship. It's right there. It needed more repairs this time than usual. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but yeah. Uh, so anyway, we hop on board and we head out and we have our usual fun, fine time and we get shot the heck up. It was another... We almost succeeded, yep. but we didn't quite. <laughs> yep. yep. It sucked. We, it, it I, was, I was, it was weird. I, I moved over to the red zone, and I was basically handling the red zone by myself. And everyone was super busy over in the other zones, and I was, I kept like asking, hey guys, you want me to do anything else? No, okay, I'll, I'll keep shooting stuff in the red zone and keep this going. Uh, and I did not badly, I guess. But the, the problem is at the end, a, a serious threat came, and yeah. then we didn't. We didn't focus on it. The problem was that I was, you know, it's a, it's a really easy mistake to make if, if a serious threat appears late, that you focus on finishing off a threat when you should just say, screw this threat. I, I, I'm, well, actually, I, I thought of that. I saw it and I was like, crap, if we don't take out the serious threat, we're going to die. I should just forget the last seven actions I put down. I should reboot them and go kill that serious threat and I just decided yes I'm going to do that when it said phase 2 will end in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and it was all locked in so I was like crap so we tried to kill the serious threat but it, we just couldn't yeah. wasn't it though the zone red that got shot up I remember zone red got destroyed because I just left zone red after spending the whole time there no no, it was and, but and I, I was like yeah okay I'm sorry. Over there. Well, I was I was zone blue on the right yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. you were on the left so I was in zone blue and I realized yeah. I should forget about Zone Blue and go do deal with Zone Red. Yeah. Because you were alone trying to kill a serious threat, and but it was too late. Yeah. Anyway, we didn't. Mm -hmm. We destroyed everything but that last threat, and then it. Uh, actually, I think we did kill that serious threat, but then like the little threat behind it just like came through. Yeah. And, yeah. I remember it wasn't a big thing that, that killed us at the end. That's what I was thinking. We did kill the serious threat. Right. But, but it damaged but, you. But it was. It just soaked up so much of our effort and attention that something else got through because of it. But yeah, so just as the last shots landed, or would have landed on Zone Red and destroyed the ship, or made it crash, the DM, Robin, sort of, the, the, the cutscene starts, and, uh, what are they, the Nahiri? The Ahiri. Ahiri. One of their ships suddenly warps in, mm. and, like, you know, uses a tractor beam or something, and, and right. deflects the attack that would have destroyed us. Yeah. They and then, save our ship. Yeah, I think they just like and they and they use that beam. And they like they shoot the beam at the bad guy ship. It blows yeah. up instantly. They shoot their beam at us and then they tractor us <laughs> safely yeah. back to the planet. Yeah. So yeah, we we did lose. We got shot down effectively. But Robin didn't want us to actually crash, crash into the Amir Ahiri. Though that planet. would have been a hilarious way to, to <laughs> arrive. Like they've got their their big parking area. Or something. Yeah. It was like uh, and here we welcome the. Humans of Earth. Yes. And yeah. part of your art. Performance art. <laughs> uh, showing how unreachable that star is. <laughs> we're always reaching for. Um, and so yeah, that was the the end of that session because basically we played Space Alert a whole bunch. Yeah. Um, this traveled to this a session. Pro. Yeah. And both times got shot down. Yeah. Just barely shot down, though. We almost made it both times. 